This is a demonstration of the set point ramping feature on a West Plus series controller. It is a simple heating application. We are looking to heat up water in a saucepan and maintain the temperature of the water at a set point of 60 degrees C. We have a P6100 controller fitted with an output relay for control and hot plate to heat up the water. The relay has a current rating of 2 amps. The hot plate will be drawing more than 2 amps, so consequently the output relay of the controller is connected to an interposing relay here to deliver the higher current required by the hot plate. The set point ramping feature is used to protect the process or equipment from damage if there were any sudden changes in the set point, resulting in a rapid rise in the process variable. Without the set point ramping feature, any changes in the set point would cause the process to drive to a new value at the fastest rate that it was capable of doing. With set point ramping, the set point is moved slowly towards its target value. Consequently, the set point ramping feature can reduce thermal shock to the process and reduce overshoot on start up or set point changes. Once the ramping set point reaches the target set point, the set point ramp rate disengages until the set point is changed again. The first demonstration will show how the process reacts with the set point ramping feature disengaged. The second and third demonstrations show how the process reacts with the set point ramping feature engaged at different ramp rates. I'll turn the controller on. The controller is at its factory default values. The proportional band is 10%. The integral or reset time is at 5 minutes. And the derivative time or the rate is at 1 minute 30 seconds. On the hot plate you can see there's a light down on the bottom left of the hot plate that shows when the heater is drawing power. And if I come back and show you the controller, on the controller you can see the set point is at 60 and the process variable, the temperature at the moment is 15.4 degrees centigrade. So the right uh, and just above the set point you can see an arrow pointing up. This signifies that the um, output relay is engaged and so it's providing power to the heating element on the hot plate. The ramping set point has not been engaged so we'd expect to see the uh, process temperature rise as fast as possible to reach the set point of 60 degrees. We'll come back in a few minutes um, to see how the temperature and the process is getting on. It has now been five minutes since we started this process and the temperature uh, of the water in the saucepan um, has gone above the 60 degree set point. It's actually 68 um, degrees at the moment. You can see on the controller that the up arrow, the red arrow, um, is no longer lit so there's no uh, the relay is not made so we do not have power going to the hot plate itself however the temperature is still rising due to the energy within the process we've rejoined the demonstration and you can see the temperature now is well above the set point it's 81 degrees due to the thermal energy of the process itself even though there's no power being delivered to the heating element of the hot plate. So we have a big overshoot. This is something that we can deal with and improve on by using the set point ramp rate feature. The set point ramping feature is selected in the setup menu of the controller. The ramp rate is in units per hour. As we're, we've got a temperature control system, 
um, our units are in degrees centigrade and I've chosen to have a ramp rate of 120 units or degrees centigrade per hour so two degrees per minute if I press the scroll key um, I've also enabled the feature where you can see the ramp rate on on the controller so at the moment it's showing a ramp uh, a ramping set point of 21.6 the target set point is 60 but at the moment the ramping set point that the controller is working towards is just 22 degrees and it's going up at 2 degrees per minute. The ramping set point at, at the moment is 25.0 and the process temperature is 27.2. We'll come back in a few minutes to see how it's getting on. The ramping set point has now reached the target set point of 60 and when it does that it just stays there at the target value so it will just stay at 60. If we have a look at the process the process temperature 61.8 so the overshoot is much much better than we had with the previous example without the ramping enabled. Target set point the set point or a ramping value so it stayed at 60 and will just stay there until that set point changes again. Readings were taken over 100 minutes and the results plotted on a graph. The ramp rate was changed from 120 um, degrees per hour to 60 degrees per hour and again results plotted on a graph. The graphs show that when the set point ramping feature is enabled we get better control of the process. With it disabled, the graph in red, we have a lot of overshoot from the set point. By having the set point ramping enabled we have far less overshoot and better control of the process.